Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Kirby 64 in this Redux walkthrough of mine. Parts of this walkthrough are uploaded at noon and 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every weekday. So before I begin this new level in Planet Neostar, I'm going to be going back to this level, this mountainous level. The reason for this is because I need the ice ability for the next level, and the quickest way of getting the ice ability at the moment is to go into this mountain level and inhale some sort of ice enemy. In the upcoming level that I'm about to play, the ice ability is necessary to get the third crystal shard on the level. I advise combining ice with spike. Combining ice with spike will allow you to turn into a giant icy snowflake. Allow me to demonstrate. Using this, you will be able to shoot icy spines all over the place, and when enemies touch them, they will freeze upon impact. So with this ability, I will now begin this new level, the Volcano. This is the fourth level of Neostar, which is the fourth world. Okay. Now, upon entering this level, you will see that rocks are falling from the sky! This volcano is very, very active. Touching the lava will not kill you immediately, but it will damage you. Also, the snowflake thing is great for getting through this segment because you can freeze all the rocks in the sky! However, I can still get hurt by everything, but once you get out of here, there's no more falling rocks. I just gotta get out of here. Ah! Okay, well, see, this is why I wanted the snowflake ability was so that I could get through here with ease, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Let's just go in the volcano. All right, here is the volcano, full of all sorts of fiery enemies. Now, there's fire birds, there's guys running on the ground. What's fire? There's just fire everywhere. There's these guys that jump out of the lava. Be on the lookout for everything. But again, the snowflake ability is handy to have just so you can freeze anything that comes your way. Here we go. Of course, when you freeze enemies, you can also push them and slam them into other enemies. Oh, here we go. We've got these fire breathers. Here we go. Ha! Ah! Aw, oh, that didn't touch him, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. Everything's fine. There is cake floating in the sky in a volcano. I imagine that it's nice and delicious, as it's probably cooked to a proper temperature. Okay, here we go. Yes. Be wary, though. Again, the lava won't kill you immediately, but you will keep bouncing in it, and you can keep falling in and hurting yourself, so you gotta really be careful. Now for this next part of the level, it's time for- oh, whoops. Oh yeah, here we go. It's time for a King DDD segment! I don't think I've had one of these since World 2. Yeah, I haven't had one of these since World 2. Remember this? Riding on King DDD's back and breaking rocks? Yeah, be on the lookout here. You're going to want to break all of the rocks because one of these has a crystal shard in it and I don't necessarily remember which one it is. Ah, whatever. Yes, if King DDD touches the lava, he too will get hurt. He might be a strong penguin with a hammer, but he can still take damage. Okay. In fact, truth be told, this is probably one of the trickiest King DDD segments of the game. I'm sorry, King DDD segments of the game. Ah, uh, but there's still delicious cake. Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, cool. Alright. As for these fire-breathing enemies, they can prove to be annoying as King DDD because King DDD can only attack up front, so I advise just charging at them and hitting them. And I actually think it's this next pillar right here that has the crystal shard in it. There we go. There is the first crystal shard of this level. Took a while to get the first one, but that is the first one. I know I haven't missed any, because I know this game very, very well. Okay. I just didn't remember where in this room it was. I just remembered it was in one of those pillars. Okay. Ah. Alright. And here we go. At the end of this King DDD segment. Oh, sorry. King DDD segment! King DDD will pick me up and throw me into the next room as he waves goodbye. Okay. Now I have to continue on with traditional platforming segments as I have my snowflake ability. Okay. Sliding through here is actually not such a bad idea. Not gonna lie. I don't want to waste too much time just freezing enemies when I can just run through this whole section with ease. There you go. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yep. Alright. So far, so decent, I suppose. Ha! I gotcha! I didn't really need to get you, but I got you anyway. Alright, let's push that. Woo! Woo! There we go. There we go. Okay. Slowly but surely. This is one of the longer levels of the game, believe it or not. Like, I'm not the best player in the world. So I'm not going for speed running or anything. But this is naturally just a longer level in the game. It's not... Well, it's not really slow by any means. It's just a relatively long level. I remember when I was a kid, this level actually gave me a hard time. Just because, you know, I sucked at games when I was a kid. And I still suck at games now. Though I like to think that I've gotten somewhat better, right? Right? I don't know. But this, this level used to give me a hard time. I would die on it a lot. There we go. And they can go under this one. Over this one, and over that one. Here we go. What usually killed me on this level was actually the last segment of this level. Like, there's there's all sorts of different things going on in this level. In this next room, you will find the second crystal shard, and this is where you need the ice ability. Ice combined with anything will allow you to get that crystal shard, but be sure not to touch the floor, or else the floor will burn you. 
Now, this is the segment of the level that usually kills me. You're going to really want to be on the move with this part of the level because... Well, let me go ahead and toss that. We are about to get a giant lava wall! Yes, this volcano is very active. I advise inhaling a fire enemy and using your traditional speedrunning tactics. If you can't do this, running on the floor is just fine, but you gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. I believe that the lava wall will kill you upon impact. So you gotta be quick. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Don't worry, there's no crystal shards in this room. Just keep moving. Get away from the lava wall. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Speed running tactics, go! Oh, yeah. That actually was pretty cool. Ah! Okay. Give me my ice cream. I'm surprised the ice cream didn't melt in here, but whatever. I'm good. Everything's fine. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Don't touch the floor. Okay, now I can probably touch the floor. Ah! Whatever. It's fine. I'm still doing this. All right. In this room, the lava will now start rising from the ground. Keep moving, but stay over to the left. If you stay on the left side, you'll be able to get the third and final crystal shard of this level. There's also cake on the left side, but I'm gonna pass on that. I just want this. Okay. Now keep moving. The lava does rise pretty quickly in this room. Don't worry about having any special abilities. All you gotta do is jump. Keep jumping. Just keep jumping. <sighs> Alright. These blocks can be destroyed by jumping against them. Cool. Alright. Actually, you know what could be unfortunate is, that, is actually if you destroy all three of those blocks by accident. Then you kind of need an ability to destroy the rest of them. But here we go. Here's the end of the level. We're just having a picnic on top of this volcano. I don't think that's safe, but whatever. Got the enemy card. All right, excellent. Now I can go ahead and wrap up this part of Kirby 64 in this Redux walkthrough. So that about wraps up this part of my Kirby 64 Redux walkthrough. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I take on the boss of World 4. This boss right here. Bye-bye, humans.